Good morning everyone, Steve here. Hopefully today we can buy some more Pokemon cards. That's the goal of today. Obviously that's the goal in general, but I really want to buy just as much as I can while I'm here and waste as much money as I brought. But I'm hopeful. We might not find the best deals today, but if we can consistently pick up a few things here and there, I'll be happy. But it is really windy at the moment and it is really cold. So I'm, I'm struggling. Um, I'm Australian. I only know heat. I don't know four degrees and wind and my lips being chapped and my throat being sore, but we soldier on. We have a goal. The goal is to waste money. Hopefully we get some good deals. I'll see you guys soon. Day three. Mm. Stay three. I have to say that so I know like what day it is on the videos when I edit them, yeah. So it's day three here and we are at 11 o'clock. We're in Shibuya. We're currently at the Magnet building, it's right next to Shibuya Crossing. It's really, really easy to see. And there is a small little card store in here. I didn't really buy anything from it because they just didn't have as much as what I was looking for, but I'll just turn the camera around here and you can just see just how much, it's just a very small store, but there's a decent amount of selection. I'm not gonna go through the store and show what is there, but there's a lot of people, but you know, it's a small store, has Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, One Piece, everything. So it's not too bad. So if you're looking for some stuff and you're near Shibuya, it's not too bad, but we're gonna to go to another store now. Hopefully Magi in Shibuya might be good and see what else we can find. Okay, we're here in Shibuya at a trading card store called Full Comp and it's in the middle of nowhere and it's really windy and it's really cold. So I'm just gonna show you the front of the building here. Just so if you ever wanna come here, it's where that big sausage Suwaje sign says. It's all the way up there on the fourth floor, enter through there. So this one is called Full Comp. Maybe it might have something good, maybe not. We'll see, I'm here with my friend West. He's right here in the red hat and he's leading me around everywhere. He knows everything, so that's pretty good. Let's go. So we're here outside Full Comp, and apparently it opens at 10 on Google Maps, but it actually opens at 11. So I'm just gonna show the door. It is closed on us and cash only. That's always good. So we have to wait nine minutes. This is my friend West What's up? and longtime friends. He's probably the biggest Pokemon card seller that I know personally. So. He's a big deal, so he might look like he's not that big of a deal, but he's actually a pretty big deal. So he knows it's everything. So if you need to buy some from him, it's, uh, what was it, Western Pieces? West Collectibles, West Co Western Pieces. E4 Western Pieces, Western Pieces and eBay. West Collectibles on eBay. That's the rebrand, so hopefully we get some good stuff from Full Comp. Looks pretty packed, but. There's definitely some cards in there. There is some cards in there, hopefully there's some deals. Hopefully, hopefully it's warm in there too, so good luck. Goodbye, full comp. They did not want me to film inside the store. I checked with them, they said no filming, and that's perfectly fine. But we spent around 20 minutes in there, around 100,000 yen each, and yeah, it's a pretty good store. There's a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, mainly more modern. So if you're looking for old Pokemon, I probably wouldn't even bother. But yeah, that's not a bad store. It was a good store, West. We got one XY card. We got one card from XY, and the rest is just modern Pokemon, so. <laughs> Couldn't show inside, but it probably has around 30, 40 display cases of cards, one it's piece. One of the bigger stores. Yeah, it's it's a pretty big store. It's got one piece, Dragon Ball, and everything else you could possibly want. So we're going back out into the cold. And we're going to Magi, I think. Magi. Magi, 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 Magi. See you guys then. We are still in Shibuya at the moment. We're just at the front of a card shop called Magi Poke. I'm just gonna turn this around here. And it's a pretty open card shop. It's just, you know, you've got the displays, looks some Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and One Piece displayed. And a little bit of a gacha machine over there. And I'm gonna have a look at this. I'm gonna see if I can, you know, film and take pictures, obviously. I always have to ask, but it's not a bad store. It looks like Magi is a very, very big brand in Japan for buying trading cards. So looks like I might be able to get a deal here just like I did at the Akihabara store. So wish me luck, let's see what we can get. All right, boys, we are at Magi Poke in Shibuya. Pretty close to the Pokemon Center here too. They have allowed me to film. I just want to show a little bit of what they got on display here. They got a whole bunch of PSA cards. If we step back, it's all Pokemon PSA here, and they have all Pokemon PSA here. So these guys are like mega stacked if you want to buy some credit cards. And the prices are actually pretty good. 168k yen for this Charizard. Umbreon, around a million. It's a little bit much. With the old ancient Mew for 1.2. You know, Magikarp, Poncho, 200, Team Skull. These are actually pretty reasonable. Like Sun and Moon Full Art How. I know you guys can't really see it, but it's like 30,000 yen for this one here. 80,000 yen. Gold Stars PSA 8 Entei. 70,000. 70,000 for the Alakazam. Pretty good. 
I already bought some cards from here because I saw them and I just had to buy them. They had a whole row of Squirtle Master Balls at the bottom here. These are all 151 Master Balls. And they were like 8,600 yen each. And the, the raw price of that card is like 6,000 something. And it's like plus grading. I can just buy the 10s in Japan and probably sell them for double when I get back. So you always got to make sure you're checking every single thing. So you get, they just got PSA cards. And they've got a whole bunch of sealed stuff and packs on the wall and boxes. And it's pretty similar to what most stores have. But it's Magi. You know, Magi is good. It's really good for it. So some more miscellaneous sealed stuff here. Nothing nothing too crazy. Some some more really good PSA guys. You got the you know the Charizard. What is it? The new collection box thing? I already forgot what it's called, the premium collection. <laughs> I opened one, I already forgot what it was called, so oh man it's been a long day my head's everywhere i, I need a, a coffee or i need an energy drink or something so what anything else here that really piques interest i mean look at this 3900 yen for rocket zapdos for, to explain how crazy that is in japan you have to pay almost 3000 yen just to get a card graded we got like lunala 25th anniversary for 3000 yen lugia 3000 got some full art you know, World Scent Pikachus. I've sold all of these for more than this. We've got Mischievous Pichu. I mean, that's cheaper than I can buy them and then grade them myself. So I might just buy those. And like this Alteria with Lysia, I might just buy these too. I didn't really want to buy too many PSA cards when I'm here, but because they take up a lot of space, but this is just, I'm just gonna buy those. That's just good deals. I mean, they're just good deals. What do we got on this side? We got unknown PSA 10. That's a little bit too much for that. I bought one of those in another store for around 6,000 yen. So sometimes not every store is the same. That's why you have to just buy a little bit from everywhere. But we're gonna go around the corner here. This, I don't know what's going on here. This must be like the lucky bag lottery. You have a chance to get, you know, PSA 10 Mewtwo. You, looks like 5,000 yen each, maybe. One play for 5,000 yen. It's the Hyper Lottery or something like that. It's just an expensive lottery bag. And then on this side, we've got some more raw Pokemon cards. Yeah, it's not too bad. We've got the Copycat and just everything, really. Just all the full art trainers you'd want. I'll show a few prices just so you guys get an idea. Miriam, 38,000. That's pretty good. Oh, they have S rank Charizard. I'm going to check this one. I want to get two or three of these while I'm in Japan. And I want to get some of these new ones from this, this set too, because they're really sick and I don't have any of those. And I'd like to have a few moving forward in my, in my inventory as I, as I try to build it back up and get some of the new, new high modern cards. It's the Leafeon V-Star. I pulled one of those from my pack yesterday from my box. But we've got some older cards down here. You know, they're, they're pretty good with their condition checkings, A rank, S rank, make it all easy for you. We've got Lysander here. Hopefully the, the sound is pretty good. The microphone's moving around quite a bit. We've got some Cherins from Black and White. You know I like that card. Some older stuff. This is S rank over here, you know. And I will say, just because it doesn't say S rank on it, doesn't mean it's not gonna be a PSA 10. Doesn't mean you can't get a PSA 9. Doesn't mean it's not gonna be near mint. They've just, you know, they'll put it on there if they think, but that's like, they've gone through the conditions and the Japanese are very thorough when it comes to looking at this stuff. And all this is just One Piece. One Piece is so incredibly popular. You know, I don't mind it. I like to think the cards actually look pretty good, especially uh, that one there. But I think the cards look pretty good. That, that one down there looks pretty good too. But in general, I'm just, you go on Pokemon is it for me. You get the latest One Piece boxes, 7,200, 14,000, 9,000 and 9,000. I mean, that's not terrible. These cards do look cool, but I'm not really too interested in it, unfortunately. And we got some more, more Pokemon over here. It's not, not too bad. And then, oh, some screen Pikachus. Some old back cards here. West is buying some stuff. So, man, I'm just checking out the old back cards. Yeah, oh, suffering. there's a Gengar there, 3,000. Yeah, it's not bad, we, Did you check the gift, gift box? This, okay, we've got to check that gift box mean too. It's almost thrown away. Damaged. damaged it's always damaged. But, I'm check this oh, box too. 
So they're checking. West, West is checking. He's checking an Umbreon. He's checking an Umbreon near Discovery. You're doing the 20,000 one? Full growth. That's good. we got some more full arts down here. Oh, he wants the expensive one. And some more. This is probably the newest set. It looks like they've, they've put newest set. Oh, they have 10% off PSA. That's why they gave it to me. Oh, okay. They gave me a discount on PSA cards when I bought them. They just have a 10% off all PSA Pokemon. So that's probably why they gave me a discount when I bought them. So this is pretty good stuff. Pretty happy with it. Oh, there's even more here. There's even more PSA Pokemon. Look at Giraffari. I mean, I don't even know what that is, but that's 2,500 yen, 10% discount. You're looking at 2,300. There's 2,200 PSA 10. I mean, this is just, this is what happens when everyone wants to start grading modern cards and it's not the best idea. To be honest, everything crashes and burns. So that's why I'm picking up PSA cards instead of raw cards, because it's just cheaper and easier for me. <laughs> They've already done all the work. So that's a pretty good store. I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully this video comes up good. And I'll go around back to me now. So yeah, I'm doing my best to videotape guys. It's not easy. It's kind of weird when you know, everyone's looking at me weirdly talking to myself but it's fine it's fine all right i'll see you guys in the next store all right boys it's a little bit later in the afternoon and we are at another card store who would have guessed we are at a place called nakano broadway it's a pretty popular place just for all cards everything like that and we're at a store called magi it's pretty much the same as the one in akihabara and the one we were at earlier magi poke it's pretty much just the same brand the same same styling everything and they have some incredible cards here so we're just gonna put this bad boy around and just have a look at the front. So they gave me permission to film here, so it's pretty cool. Bunch of sealed packs, starter deck, 160K, and then a bunch of just random graded cards. And then One Piece, like I said, it's really, really popular in Japan at the moment. So they're going crazy. We've got some magic cards and stuff. But if we go inside, it's pretty busy at the moment, so I don't want to get in anyone's way, but see here we've got some, we've got a Crystal Charizard. I think that's, uh, 170,000. It's a little bit damaged, it looks. 170,000 for Crystal Charizard. And then it was 370 for the Secret Rare Charizard. That's actually quite a lot, but it's an A rank, so it's probably like, you know, nine worthy. At the back there, you can see four Gold Star Charizard, <laughs> Poncho Pikachu. It's just some crazy stuff. We've got some Tropical Wind here, 1.1 million. I already have one of those in my collection, so I don't need another one of those. I've got an S rank Mewtwo 25th or 20th. A fan club Porygon in the back. And if you see here, it's just gold stars. Like that's all it is, it's just gold stars. And then here, more gold stars. I mean they're just they're just everywhere. It's it's just absolutely wild. We've got some Rayquaza gold stars, there's three more up there. So there's six in total of the store that I can see. We've got some more PSA stuff here. Prices, what have we got here? Nido King, fifteen thousand yen, not too bad. I'm sorry if the, the, the Audio quality is not too good. It's really busy in this store. There's at least like 20 people, and you cannot fit 20 people in this store. So you can see here, this this Groudon Gold Star. There's at least seven, and then there's multiple top layers in each. It's actually crazy. So some more one piece around the side of the store, but you know, I'm doing my best to get out of out of the way of most people. You're gonna, you're gonna be nice. And on, on this side, there's some more cases. Just some old bag stuff here. Some card ass. Although we're looking at a you know, Gyarelli Lugia, 33,000. And then some just old back, you know, Misty's Tenor Crew is at 1,600 yen. Just show all this. They're kind of color coded, you know, grass, water, fire. Over there is like psychic, normal, electric type. All that kind of stuff. They're pouring on 3400 and these conditions just vary, right? There's like, you know, there's four different prices for Vaporeon here. And for Dark Blastoise, there's four different prices again. So the highest price is probably like, you know, between eight to 10 condition. And then it's like probably between like seven to nine. And then it's probably a little bit less, like six to, you know, it goes down a little bit. And this has a little bit of a hollow shift on it. I don't know if you can see that, but that's, if you, if you pause it and have a look at these two, you can definitely see a little bit of hollow shift. And then even more on this one on the right here. Wow, that's super obvious. I love when they have that little bit of a shift. It gives it like a shadow, and a nice swirl here on this dark blasters. So, 
Some of the cool stuff. We got a Umbreon up here. Everyone's staring at me because I'm filming and talking to myself. Oh, I'm trying to control this camera, doing my best. It's still hard to do. We got a 70,000 yen for this Masaki Golem. Boy. Some more PSA cards here. 27,000 for this Flareon. 70,000 for the 20th anniversary of Charizard. PSA 8 base set Charizard. I'm not sure if you can hear the kid, but he's uh, losing his mind right now. Oh, a creature's deck. It's not too bad. Pretty pretty normal prices all around. There's Morgan 8500. Magi is actually really good on PSA card prices. Like, they're really competitive. Normally, I wouldn't say that, but it's actually really good. It's really fair. So we'll just walk to this other side of the store. see some more fire types here try not to get into the way we've got a trainers magazine ivy saw down the bottom no rarity bulbasaurs mcdonald bulbasaurs just more old back stuff we've got you know base set blast toys 13,000 yen and now this vaporeon's 8,000 yen compared to the ones on the other shelf these ones might be the you know more expensive better condition ones but you know, there's another card store just around the corner that we're going to go to so, it's not too bad. Some normal type cards down the bottom. Lots and lots of old bags here, just everywhere. The Lugia Neo Genesis at the back, it's like 7,000 yen. And then the A rank ones, 27,000. So that's the difference between some things. And if you look on the back shelf and then the left shelf, there's just cards and everywhere. Just cards sitting in every little nook and crevice that you can possibly think of. And then we got some you know, EX cards here. Some more PSA cards, a World Pikachu set. Yeah, this is a good store. I already picked up a few things from here, just like some played new rarity stuff and a few old back hollows, but it's already packed up and they, they let me film after I purchase some stuff. Always nice to purchase first and then film afterwards so they know that I'm not like wasting their time, I guess. But, you know, this is uh, Maggi and... I kind of Broadway, it's a really good store. I'll just show the entrance of it. Yeah, it's a little bit a little bit hard to get to, but you know. Pretty good store here, Maggi. I kind of Broadway. It's not too bad. There's a watch store across from it called Fire Kids, so if you can't find it, it's a pretty good place. So I mean, I mean, it's a good store. There's another store just around the corner, so we're gonna end this recording and record again in about two minutes because there's another Magi that has more Pokemon right around the corner. Okay, I'm standing across from the other Magi poke that is in that kind of Broadway. And we're going to walk into it over here. So I'll just show you near these escalators and then you kind of go down a little bit. You'll find it. This place is damn confusing. Even if I gave you a map, you wouldn't be able to find it. But <laughs> you'll find it because it has a big purple sign that says Magi. Now this store is more of a half Yu-Gi-Oh, half Pokemon kind of store. So on the right side we got Pokemon, on the left side we got Yu-Gi-Oh. Haven't shown much Yu-Gi-Oh today, so we'll just show it. Just a little bit of like, you know, Ultimate Rares, some nice Ghost Rares, PSA 10 stuff. And some old Yu-Gi-Oh card, like special packs. It's actually not bad value to me. It's actually not bad value. And then some Dice Monster stuff and whatever else, just some old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And then some old boxes, Egyptian God cards. And then over here we got some some Pokemon stuff. Got a little bit of you know, Pikachu's here. We've got two McDonald's Pikachu's. What are they? 12,000 and 21,000, it looks like. We've got some PSA cards at the top. Pull out trainers. 12,000 yen for Skylar. Always like that one. Espeon at the back, 28,000. A lot of Eevees there. The new modern set is there. Some more pull out trainers. Pretty much same, same. Got an A plus Charizard here. Urshifu VMAX, that's a really good card right there. Some more PSA, 30,000 Jolteon Master Ball. That's quite a lot. That might be, it looks like that's a whole bunch of cards in one. There might be all the EVs in one set, 30,000 yen. Like multiple cards set of Master Balls. 
15,000 Mewtwo, 62,000 Master Ball Pikachu, not too bad. Stamp Box Pikachu. I'm not sure what that means, but at the moment they have 20% off all Pokemon today. So I might have a look at this uh, Master Ball set and see how that goes. Just a bunch of stuff here. Some more, you know, just full arts, just new gen stuff. Right, I'm actually going to ask them to check these Master Balls in a bit and we'll see how that goes. All right, everyone, I'm back in Maji in Akihabara, of course. And one thing people don't really talk about when they're in Japan is visiting the same stores multiple times. Sometimes they will refresh, they'll get new stock, and you have to check them all over again. What is this? This guy has a dog on it. That's, that's pretty funny. That guy has a dog on it. But yeah, so we're back in Maji again, checking the deals, because yesterday they had 20% off PSA cards. And, you know, they're not incredible prices, but once you add in a 20% off, it, uh, it kind of adds up a little bit, so some pretty decent stuff here. I already looked at most of this yesterday. Pretty happy. I'm trying not to get into the way. But yeah, it's not too bad. I'm gonna check some of this Yu-Gi-Oh stuff and I'm gonna look at a few more ghost rares and maybe check some PSA stuff. But yeah, like I said, make sure you're checking cards and checking the stores multiple times while you're here, not just a one and done. So we're here at another store in Tokyo, just four floors underneath Maji in Akihabara. There's two Magi stores, and this is one that's not really in the center near the train station. It's off to the left a little bit more. And it is called El Dorado. Now, they gave me a little card thing because they said it's fine if you record. It's actually quite good. I'm not going to lie. You know, it, it has a great aesthetic to it. Heaps of cases. I'm here just with two friends. So, yeah, they have... Not everything's full, which isn't always a bad thing. They have a bunch of things on display where they're, you know, showing off some of the personal collection and showing off some stuff they like. I think don't actually know what card game that is. They just have some, you know, some pretty cool looking old bank cards here. Prices are actually pretty reasonable. Like, you know, 1200 yen for Moltres, Hollow, 600 yen for Gyarados, 2500 for Mew. Conditions not that bad, like light play on some of the stuff. Some of the stuff more expensive, A rank, it is actually, you know, it's it's mint. It's good. The mint Lugia, 45,000, but that seems like a lot, but you know, PSA 10, etc. is still a lot more than that, up to the thousands, like double that. So we got way more old backs around here and then a few other random card games. And then we got some base set Charizard there, 85,000. We got a fan club Eevee, fan club Porygon, some red eyes, black dragons and stuff. We got shining Charizard, shining Celebi. And then they got some more things. I'll show you this, it's actually insane. They have an uncut sheet of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. The starter deck, cards that come in this box down here, the starter box is actually insane. I don't even know how the hell they get that, but I wish I had that. I, I would pay a lot of money for that. So prices in this store is a lot of old back. There's no modern cards. So 600 yen for hollows. So if you're looking for old back hollows, like this is the store for it, I think personally. 800 yen Dicer, 300 yen Vending, 3,500 Dark Dragonite. So yeah, this is called El Dorado. You know, I have the business card somewhere. I don't think I put it in my pocket. This is it. El Dorado. It's in Akihabara. There's a whole bunch of things here. It's open between 11 and 8. And they're very, very accompanying. Wes is over there. He's checking a whole bunch of cards today. And it's just, yeah, this is an incredible store. It's not a huge selection, but the selection they have is very well priced. Look at 800 yen right here and the champ and everything. It's very good. So very happy with this store. I'll come back before I leave and definitely check it out one more time. This is, this is a very good store. I'm very happy with this. So I'm just here at the El Dorado store and this is how they let you check. They have a box for cancel and they have this magnifying glass. You check your cards. They present them to you so nicely. They push them out of the sleeves and then you can check them through the magnifying glass. And it actually is the best thing I've ever seen at any store. It's very nice and I just can't believe and they're letting me film the process just because it's it's crazy. I just asked them because I've never seen this in any store. So this is really good. Thank you. What's up, boys? We are back. It's 6, 7 p.m. And I found like this secret card store in this little hole thing. I don't know where I am, but I'm somewhere in Akihabara. Go up these stairs. And this store is called Nin Nin. So look for this tiny little ninja guy, Nin Nin, and you will find him. And I'm open this up. <laughs> That's me making a bunch of noise. And it is just a nice card store with a whole bunch of card ass here. A little bit of PSA, some old back, 
some Legend series, some XY stuff. It is just packed full. Now prices, you know, I wouldn't say it's the most amazing ever, personally, but the conditions are pretty incredible. And we have a whole bunch of promos down here, primes on level X, we have XY cards, and then more and more here. We've got some no, no rarity cards here. And we have some E-series behind there. So yeah, there, there's a lot of people here. There's all old back back there. And this, here is what I just went through before. They have so many bulk boxes. Like they have a vending series, E-series bulk box. They have an ADB bulk box. They had a card ass bulk. I think I bought like two, 200, 300, 400 cards here from the bulk. And they got some sealed stuff on the bottom here. And yeah, it was it is just a really fun store. I've been here for around 20 minutes and they said it's fine if I record. This is some of their more expensive cards. So we got the, let me just fix this up real quick. Championship Arena there, Fan Club Porygon. We've got some Gold Stars. Yeah, some McDonald's packs. But overall, I mean, I, I wouldn't say this is terrible. We've got some soccer promos. So we've got the Team Aquas Kyoga, 30,000 yen. Go close to this to check out this victory medal, yeah. Very, very nice people. We got two sealed boxes here, it looks like. Of the, is that, oh, I forgot what that box is called. Reviving Legends, I think, this one here. Japanese Reviving Legends, and this is, oh, it stumped me right now. I'm, I'm stumped, I completely forgot. I'm pretty sure you get the Gold Star Charizard and Gold Star Celebi in this set. I forgot what it was called. Is it? Let me know in the comments what do you think it's called. I already forgot. I'm getting old. So, oh, they also have a, a starter deck for 1.8 million yen. So, prices aren't most amazing. It does say there are no pictures, but they did let me. They let me. He gave me permission to do a video. So, he's fine with that. So, there's some card house cards. It's called Nin Nin. It's a really good store. I recommend checking this out. What's up, boys? We're back at another store. Another ninja. Nin Nin, ninja, whatever they want to be called. I'm going to show you the logo here. We're in Akikibukuro. I think that's how you say it, but if you can see this, this little logo here, if you look it up, look up Ninja, you can see this guy here, you should be able to see something. Now this store has figurines and they have cards, and it is much bigger than the previous store I was just at. I figured I'd come over this side to have a look, and everyone I just, they have a lot of cards here, like oh, I'm never going to be able to show all these cards. And they let me know that they, I'm allowed to record because it's not very busy, so it's not that big of a deal, but they just have cards on cards on cards. We can check some prices. There's a Giratina Alt Art there, 60,000 yen. What else we got here? The modern cards aren't that exciting. They have a whole bunch of old back stuff, some XY stuff there. Lots of good stuff. What's that? EX Battle Boost Reverses. So I'm going to have to come through here and check because these uh, ones with the yellow stickers are all damaged, but the white ones are like near me. Sorry, I had a burp. I just had a. I just had a hot chocolate because it's, I'm not going to lie, it's really, really cold. I don't know what the hell that noise was just then. I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, there's an air freshener down there that just squirted. It went off and just get the shit out of me. <laughs> okay, so we can see more cards here. It's away from the, the, the case, so it's a pretty deep case. You can't really see what's going on, but some Arceus deck cards. Looks like some more EX era hollows. They're all kind of like legend on this side. Espeon, legend, hollow. What is that? 8,000 yen, roughly. It's not too bad. Gyarados, Soul Silver, 3,000. Some reverses. If we go further closer to this side, some more people shopping. <laughs> Sorry. Some old back hollows here, old back hollows there. Some no rarity cards there, and old back hollows. I'll show you the prices in a second. We're just gonna show more of these things. We've got some level X cards here. It's kind of crazy. We've got some VS cards. It's just a whole stack. I just bought like 300 or 400 VS cards from the last store I went to. I just, you know, it was like 280 yen to 680 yen. All their non near mint ones. I just cleaned them out just for my, my single store. So I'm probably do the same here. Stuff like this Hypno, just so I don't have to waste time checking everything. But some E series cards here, some hollows. Some XY cards, try not to record the people that are around the store, so I'm moving the camera around. And then some more modern here. And then on this side is damaged, damaged old back, damaged old back. You see 580 yen for Hitmonchan, for Electrode and stuff. And then there's one piece of Alipa, that's, that's those guys are talking about. 
We'll show some of these. We've got a Shining Mew here, 20,000. Dark Espeons, 20,000. I'm sure those are really good condition. They do look a bit weird, if you are noticing that, but it's printouts of the expensive card. Just in case they get broken into or stolen, they don't lose the expensive card. So they keep the cheap ones on display, but the expensive card is a printout. So just so, in case that looks weird to you. So like, you know, the Shining Mew is not hollow, it's a printout, in case you've like noticed that. So, what else we got here? We got Dark Blastoise, 5,000, Golduck, 4,000, 3,000, 2,500. Some jungle vaporeons. Yeah, sorry. But yeah, it's uh, some pretty good stuff here. Get some E series hollows for this. I'm not going to show too much more because there's definitely people shopping and I don't want to get in their way. So, this is our Nin Nin and our Kickabooka, right? I had to pull the camera back out for this ninja store. Check this out some Team Rocket Unlimited theme decks. You'd think you'd never find that here. But Team Rocket Unlimited theme decks and then a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, Rarity Collection, Speed Jewel, Thousand Eyes Bible. That's actually a pretty good price, Thousand Eyes Bible. And then Classic Pack, 6,000 yen. Yeah, I might I might buy some Yu-Gi-Oh and open it back at the hotel, but I'll do that by myself. I don't need to record Yu-Gi-Oh openings. But yeah, Nin Ninja in Akekabukuru is very good. And a little bit of a display of some One Piece and stuff like that. But if you, if you like One Piece, I know you guys can't see much like going around these cases but it's actually quite hard to record it to be honest it's just the way it is yeah, well, well i still got you i might as well show what do we got here so this is their like lottery stuff you get the chance to win this lugia i guess and these two one piece cards obviously it's just it's all luck and then there's more lottery stuff here yeah definitely gonna start checking this up now but i, I just wanted to <laughs> show those Theme decks, which is pretty funny. CP6 Charizard, 20,000 yen. That's not too bad. I like a store that's fair. Fair stores are good. Okay, boys, so we're still at Nin Nin, and I didn't actually record the bulk section of some of the other stores. And some of it's actually quite incredible when you can go through these bulk boxes. And I'll just adjust this with my camera here. They're letting me film. So this will show on my phone. I'll be able to see where the camera's pointing. I don't have to do really awkward. So we got some, there you go, move this a little bit down. There we go, that's perfect. Got 120 yen E Series Ekans, and this is, hmm, I would say that's near mint, to be honest. I mean, it's got a yellow sticker, it just means it's not mint. So, any E card here that's 100 yen, I'm just gonna buy them because like, you can never have too much E Series. So, don't be discouraged if I buy it all and you come here and you want some of this. Oh, it's actually all 120 yen. Okay. Well, okay, that makes it easy for me. I'm just gonna buy all those ones. And then this, 120 yen, Abras, 120 yen, E4 Abra. So yeah, and the conditions on this stuff is, you know, not terrible. Oh, that's actually really good. So yeah, that's um some of the bulk bins. I was gonna show these cards to really just display them, but they're actually just all, these, some of these are 180 yen. I'm, already, I'm just going to buy them all because I just want to get as much E-Series because it's something I don't have as much. But yeah, if I have to adjust this up a little bit, you have a look at this this one. You see we've got Legend Era, 300 yen, 300 yen, 300 yen, 200 yen. Yeah, you go through and you can kind of find... This is kind of sort of between L1 and stuff as well. So when you come here, don't um, mess these up. And West is just the right of me, he's checking cards. So I'll show you that process as well. When you, have, when you pull cards out of their showcases. See, result. Just show them how you're checking cards. Uh, we look for damage. Yeah, we look uh, for damage. One. We don't buy it. We do buy it. Buy. Okay. Thank you. you are buying that one? Is this your buy pile? Yeah. So what do you got so far? You got Black Skull Dragon, Tyranitar EX, Ooh. Festive X Spike Giratina. Oh wow, Lugia Break, 2000 yen. Okay. Bye. I might have to tell them that they're underpriced that one, so they charge him more. <laughs> he just laughed. Maybe he speaks English words. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. All right. So just to show off more of this stuff. I'm not sure what this means. It has one card, 30 yen. I don't actually know. I think it's unsleeved cards are 30 yen each. And then they have, you know, the marked cards with the price on them. 
obviously like Espeon is going to be more, Zorak is playable, Zora is playable, there's all these other cards. I think these actually are playable in Japanese sets, that's why they're asking a little bit more. We've got some more bulk hollows, 180 yen Jairachi, we've got XY hollows. So I'm doing my best to show this, it's actually not that easy, but it's easier than holding the camera. So 280 yen Jolteon, 500 yen Jolteon. Just to give you an idea, if you're just like a normal collector not coming to Japan just to you know, buy and just try and sell, you can actually get a lot of value out of these out of these stores that have a lot of things. Sorry, I just actually probably gonna hear that. And then what I had a lot of fun going through on the other store was these bulk trainer boxes. And a lot of this is like 30 yen each, 30 yen each, but you know, recently I've had a lot of success selling. You know, all that cards just for, it's not much it's like a few dollars each but if i can come to these stores you know, these, these are like white play play conditions and if i can just pick out the good ones like totodiles and then i can pick out just totodile really and i can just have as many neo genesis totodiles as i feel like and i'm just paying 30 cents each and i put them on ebay 30 dollars uh, th three dollars two dollars each for play I'm, I'm feeling pretty good with that transaction so you know, there's plenty to go around when it comes to this stuff, obviously. It's not like, you know, I said, oh, we've got some jungle Eevees that have played, some base set Charmanders. But I already have hundreds of all this stuff, but I just want to buy as much as I can while I'm in Japan to, to you know, warrant coming here. We have some more like Focus Band Kamiya artwork. I love this one, so I'll buy as many as these as I can. We've got some Blaine's, we've got some Mr. Fuji's. We've got some rocks training. I mean, they just like these are just obviously going through these things. It's people pick through them every single day. You're not going to get the biggest steals in the whole world, but like you just consistently gain a little bit of value by spending some time in these little bulk boxes. I think it's definitely worth. I think it was definitely worth like you know, dedicating a section to this this store at least on day three. Because I'll probably come back here again, but you know, just in total, I'm just it's just awesome just to come here and just buy this stuff. Really, they showed me. I asked them for some e series stuff, and they they pulled it out for me, and then I was just able to buy it. I was just I just pulled the whole box out. I'm just going to buy the whole box. So I'll show you how that looks as well. Point the camera down. Maybe that. Oh, what is this? Before we go, this is like bulk packs. So, where's the camera? Where are my books? So this is right here. This is another little thing that they have. I'll pull this camera up a little bit. You know, it's just a bulk pack of ATV cards for 200 yen. And this is just, you know, one hollow. The rest is bulk. But it's not terrible. I mean, that's a Zapdos. It's played, but that's good stuff. I mean, if you're in Japan, the whole thing when it comes to Pokemon card collecting, buying, whatever, it's all just... Minimal gains over time, little bits by little bit. You know, no one's gonna give you ultimate home run deal instantly. So that's it for me. That's it for this store in Nin Nin. I'm gonna unclip all this stuff and take my camera out of its cage. <laughs> and hopefully, I'll be able to do this while I'm recording. Ugh. If you guys think this. This is how this looks on me when I'm walking around. So I'm looking like a pretty big nerd just trying to get some good footage from you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. And then hopefully have more card stores later on tonight. And then we can go home and go to sleep. Let's try it all again tomorrow. Oh, what's up guys? Steve here. All right. It's the end of day three, I think. That's it. It was a long day today. We're up around for 11, 12 hours buying stuff. And there's still so many stores I didn't get a chance to go to. Because everything's kind of like a little bit spread out in Tokyo, you need multiple days if you want to go to like as many different spots as possible. But it is taking me a little bit longer because I am recording and stuff. But the plan for tomorrow is a few more stores in Akihabara. Now, a few of those stores I know for a fact that just don't let you record. So days three was really good and days four, five and six, they kind of might be melded together. I have two days left in Tokyo and then we're heading to Osaka going to go to Kahama for a day, Nagoya, oh man, it's going to be fun, but yeah, this is the end, so good night, hope you guys have been enjoying these, this a, should be the third video so far, unless I chose just to not do that and just combine them all together, whoever knows what I'm going to do when I get home, so good night everyone, and I hope you enjoy these, and I love you.
I don't know if I love you. I love most of you anyway. <laughs> Good night.